What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today, I have a very, very bold, shiny makeup tutorial for you guys. And it's because I am actually going to be doing another Throwback Thursday recreation look for you guys. And the look that I'm recreating is the one I'm about to post right here. As you can see, I don't, I didn't, my blending skills were a little bit better, but they were not that great. A lot of shadow, a lot of blue metallic, a lot of gold, and a bright blue lip to go along with it. So, you know, my my skills were not there yet. This is right around the same time as my last look that I did for my other throwback look. If you want to see that, I'll link that down below. But no, that w both of them are... Mm, uh, mm, they're just... Mm. I am recreating that look again today and just kind of doing a better more fun spin on it if you will with some of the techniques that I have now of course five years later and doing it a lot better so of course I'm also going to be using the many MUA lunar beauty life's a drag eyeshadow palette for this look as well because I thought it'd be really fun to throw this back into another video just because it's so pigmented and it's really nice if you like to see how I did this throwback Thursday recreation then you're going to keep on watching As you can see, the base is on, the blush and contour is on, the highlight will be on later on. Um, but first, we're going to dive right in with the eyes. We're going to dive right in to the Many MUA or Lunar Beauty Life's A Drag Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to be using the shade Fishy for my crease and pretty much for the majority of the color. Just to kind of soften out some of the edges, I'm going to go in with this shade Kiki right here. And by the way, if anybody is wanting to know what brushes I'm using, I'm using the Morphe 514, which was the one I used for the blue, and now I'm using the 518. So I have been really interested and in loving doing like smaller brushes for my eyeshadow looks recently because I've realized that the smaller the brush, the better and more precise I'm going to get. And since I have such small hooded eyes, like when I look straight out, I just like to have something that's going to make my eyes just look a little bit bigger and pop more. And I feel like sometimes if I take my shadow all the way up to the brow bone, sometimes it's just a little bit too smoky for some people. So I like to soften it up a little bit. As you can see, there really is not that many steps for this look, but I am going to go back in with the shade Fishy and just kind of make that stronger again. I will say, if you have hooded eyes like mine, I think the Morphe M514 brush is perfect for the crease and also perfect to make this really nice like halo eye effect because it's just such nice like small precision but at the same time it just works really well it works really well for packing on color really well for the crease it's great to like pack on like this but it's also great just to kind of feather it out i really love this brush really quickly before we go in with a different palette just for the lid area i'm gonna go in with fishy again obviously the blue and i'm gonna just kind of take that in my lower lash line Come back to Life's a Drag in just a moment, but for right now, I want to add a lot more flair to this look because I am recreating that old image, that old look that I had, and I want to add a lot more flair to it than I had it originally. So I'm going to go in with something I'm actually really liking right now. I just don't do it very often because glitter is a bitch to get off, but I'm going to go in with the model's own glitter mix glitter palette right here. I'm going to be using this gold shade right here as like my lid and right here color. Since, as you can see, I went a little crazy, but honestly, it looks 
really cool and really good. I'm going to go in with the Lysol Drag Palette again. I'm going to go in with the shade Beat as my highlight. Now I'm going to go put on some mascara and some lashes and I'll be right back to put on a highlight and a lip with you guys. Now that the lashes are on, the eyes are done. I'm actually really liking this look. This is definitely a very bold look, but I was trying to go for something bold when I originally did that look. So now this is just a updated, more glam, more fun version of that. So really quickly, let me do my highlight with you guys. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit, obviously. And I think I'm going to mix two shades. I'm not sure yet. I think I want to go with Ethereal right here and mix it with a little bit of the shade Wish. So now I was going to go in with a dramatic lip and I feel like that's what I really wanted to do with this look, but all the lips that I was like thinking about doing and wanting to do, I was like, this just would not really make the cut. So I am going to go in with a nude lip, obviously, just to kind of give the bold moment its moment. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gotta Light. Even though I went with a nude, I still want to have a little fun with it, just like a little pop of something. So I'm going to use the new Too Faced Melted Matte Talic Liquified Metallic Lip Transformer. And I'm just going to go in with this one. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I feel like I look like I'm facetuned, like where I have like, like I facetuned on a lot of highlight, but really that's just how it looks in real life. So, I mean, I'm liking this. I'm living for this look because it actually came out really, really nice. And I really just like the way everything came out. So that's all that matters. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this another throwback kind of video as well because I really wanted to start recreating some of my previous looks that I just was not proud of, was not happy with, and I really want to start recreating some of those looks for you guys. And so let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep doing more of them. I know that some of you guys did comment on the last one and you want me to do more and I am happy to do another one for you guys, so I will do more for you if you like to see them. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the very near future. Love you. Bye.